Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about my training from last week and my plans for this week. I do apologize for this video being uploaded late. The team that I'm coaching, we made it to the championship of the tournament, which we lost, which stinks. But because we made it to the championship, we played three games yesterday, which is throughout a day because baseball will take a while. And um, that meant I got home after 10 o'clock at night, which meant I went to sleep basically as soon as I got home. So I was in no mood to edit, and then this morning I slept in and relaxed for quite a bit. So I could have really got up early and made it this morning, but frankly, um, I just wanted to sleep in. So I guess I was a little bit lazy. But I wanted to record this before I went to the gym and upload this tomorrow. So you'll see this Tuesday morning for sure. <laughs> Uh, hopefully, unless some random thing happens, but it won't because this will be uploaded on Tuesday. But in my last week of training, it was my last week of prep, and I worked up to, I think the heaviest squat I had was 440, the heaviest bench was 305, and the heaviest deadlift was 575. And it was an up and down week. Monday I had to rush a lot through my workout, so it was a big rush to get everything done, and it was 6 a.m. in the morning because I was at camp for the couple of days during the week for the last couple of days of my school school year to finish that up and then the rest of the week went very well so it was um, very quick with that and then I was able to take my time as the week progressed um, so all of that went well I'm happy with how generally how everything moved I wish my deadlift would have went better but considering the circumstances I'm not worried about it moving fine because that would be my opener and I would have a lot more time than what I did to prep in between uh, sets and reps and all of that uh, different stuff as far as that goes so my last week of prep went well I'm feeling good now my big goal this week is to continue to recover over recover or overcompensate or whatever the fancy term of that is so I'll be taking ibuprofen at least once a day if not multiple times and eating a lot sleeping a lot seeing how I don't have any games until um, well I won't have any games this weekend my team has a tournament but I'm not going to it since I have the meet so we have I think just a practice in the week so I'll be able to sleep a lot and recover a lot and do a lot of different things um, as far as recovery and all of that sort of shenanigans goes I will have two workouts this week the first workout is today where I work up to 80% on squats for a 3x2 same with bench 80% for a 3x2 and then deadlifts it's three sets of three but it starts at 60%, goes to 65, and then goes to 70% for each for one set of three with that. So deadlifts aren't too strenuous. And then the next workout, I forget what it is, but it's just lower percentages and I believe some singles, perhaps some doubles. I forget exactly, but that will be on Thursday. Then I have the meet on Sunday since I wanted to still do something this week and not do nothing entirely as far as lifting goes, just to stay in the groove of things and to keep my, my body prepped and warmed up and frankly um, do something <laughs> during this week. So you see a couple of those videos uh, during this week of updates after I do each of those workouts talking about how they went and whatnot as normal and um, I will be trying to figure out when I want to upload one of the, whether it's the belt review or the knee sleeve review, I'll probably put one of those up this week at some point so be on the lookout for that. Um, most likely that will be in between the two but I haven't decided how I want to um, figure that stuff out. But last week, officially before the prep, and it's a controlled deload and just general preparation for the meet with that. So I'm excited to go for that. I showed in a previous video all the food and stuff that I have uh, prepared for the meet. I will probably add sunflower seeds to that because I ate a, a ton of sunflower <laughs> seeds yesterday. But uh, the benefit of those is that it will give me a lot of extra sodium, which is, would be beneficial to retaining some water and staying um, hydrated throughout the day and just performing a little bit better uh, basically just eating a lot throughout the day since I can once I hit my weight I was after I had pancakes this morning and my weight was two under 203 which was really surprising seeing how I, I ate I ate pancakes um, and it was after breakfast so I was uh, extremely light today and I hope that trend continues and then I can just eat like crazy after I weigh in at the meet and then just eat like crazy all day long and really enjoy myself at the meet and hopefully perform well. But there isn't really too much else to talk about. Uh, it was a pretty straightforward week. Everything moved well and my body feels good, which is good. Um, and I'm just really looking forward. I'm just, I can't wait. And it's going to seem like it's going to take forever because school's out. So I don't have anything to do all day except for um, looking for an, a house that I potentially want to buy in the area and use my rent money that I'm paying now for the apartment as a mortgage payment and use it more productively than I am now as in an apartment and really kind of move forward in investing in that sort of way and just doing things like that, doing adult things. Fully being a full adult 
kind of, uh, as much as I, I can, although I, I think I'll forever be a little immature and a little kid inside or outside. I don't know. I'll let you all decide that. But this is a, as I'm looking, it's a rather short weekly update video, but there really isn't too much else to talk about because nothing too radical happened. Everything that I planned on doing happened, and it happened in pretty much the way that I expected it, um, with the quick workout on Monday and the workout Thursday and Saturday and all of that. So hopefully that trend continues and I can have um, a really good meet and all of that stuff. Um, but uh, hopefully I'm planning on tentatively having all that footage up on Tuesday of next week so I lift Sunday I'll edit Monday and then have that stuff up on Tuesday and um, I most likely will just have one short clip of each of my lifts or just my top lifts I don't, I'm not sure how I want to separate that and then a longer video of me going like this recapping how everything went and all of that sort of shenanigans and perhaps an extra video of other people's lifts and different things like that if I record different things like that but I can't guarantee that because I don't I don't know how um, it will work and if my camera will have some weird issue or something like that but hopefully I'll get a couple videos about the meet with my lifts my thoughts about the meet and also highlighting some other people that are there as well so hopefully that all works out uh, be on the lookout for all of that, but um, I have a lot of content to be posting, uh, which is a very good problem to have because I don't have to think of ideas. They're already there. I just have to sit down and do some editing, which is a very um, doable thing for me. So if you made it this far, appreciate it. If you made it to any part of the video, I appreciate it. But if you have any thoughts or comments, please leave those down below, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace.